Jacob deGrom is one of the best pitchers in all of Major League Baseball. He has been for the better part of the past decade, consistently putting up incredible numbers for the New York Mets. But for as much as deGrom has accomplished so far, is he good enough to be considered the greatest pitcher of this generation? To fully understand DeGrom's excellence, we need to understand how everything started in his baseball career. He was drafted in the ninth round of the 2010 MLB Draft out of Stetson University, a small school in Florida, and signed with the New York Mets for a 95,000 signing bonus. His minor league career didn't start great, as after just six starts in rookie ball, DeGrom had a partial tear in the UCL of his throwing arm, resulting in Tommy John surgery. Due to that surgery, he missed his entire second season in the minors rehabbing, but returned in 2012 to start at the single A level. After a really solid season, DeGrom started the next year at high A and didn't pitch his best. However, due to injuries and other team transactions, DeGrom ended up getting promoted all the way up to triple A by the end of the season. In 2014, that is where he started and he pitched phenomenally for his first seven starts, earning him his first big league call up in May after never being ranked in the top 100 prospects in baseball. As soon as he made the Major League roster, DeGrom hit the ground running. In 22 starts in 2014, he posted a 2.69 ERA and struck out 144 batters in 141 innings pitched. He was voted the National League Rookie of the Year in 2014 by the Baseball Writers Association of America, receiving 26 out of 30 first place votes for the award. A tremendous start to a career, especially for someone that not many had tabbed as a potential star in the majors while they were a prospect. In 2015, DeGrom played just as well as he did the year before. This time he started 30 games and posted a 2.54 ERA and threw 205 strikeouts, the first 200 strikeout season of his career. DeGrom was also named an All-Star for the first time in 2015, as well as finishing 7th in the National League Cy Young Award voting. Most importantly though, the Mets were winning. After finishing below 500 in 2014, they exploded to a 90-72 record and won the National League East. That team was led by its young and star-studded starting rotation of DeGrom, Matt Harvey, and Noah Syndergaard. And while Harvey and Syndergaard got the cool superhero nicknames of Dark Knight and Thor, respectively, it was DeGrom who was leading the way statistically. In fact, DeGrom got the starting nod for their first game of the postseason when the Mets traveled to Los Angeles to take on Clayton Kershaw and the Dodgers. DeGrom outdueled Kershaw by pitching seven innings of scoreless ball while striking out 13 Dodgers batters. The Mets would win the game 3-1 and eventually win the series with DeGrom throwing another gem in Game 5. In fact, the Mets would go all the way to the World Series before eventually falling to the Kansas City Royals. In the postseason, DeGrom was phenomenal, pitching at a 2.88 ERA over four starts and striking out 29 batters across 25 innings pitched. The next two years for DeGrom would be two good but not great campaigns. His ERA was in the 3 to 3.5 range for the 2016 and 2017 seasons, but he was still good enough to finish 8th in Cy Young Award voting in 2017. 2018 though is when DeGrom takes his game to the next level. With a 1.7 ERA in 32 starts, as well as 269 strikeouts and 217 innings pitched, DeGrom ran away with the Cy Young Award in 2018, the first of his career. He received 29 out of 30 available first place votes, with the only stray vote going to Max Scherzer. DeGrom was so dominant that season that he even received a first place vote for the National League Most Valuable Player Award. Unfortunately for DeGrom, the Mets as a whole were not very good, specifically the offense. Despite his incredible pitching numbers, the Mets offense provided him with only 3.7 runs per 9 innings pitched, the worst rate in the league for any starting pitcher that year, resulting in a pitcher win-loss record for DeGrom just 10-9. and nine. His performance still earned him a contract extension with the New York Mets, who signed DeGrom to a 5-year, $137.5 million contract. That didn't slow DeGrom down, however. In 2019, he was just as dominant, bringing home his second Cy Young Award in a row. DeGrom is only the 11th pitcher in Major League history to win Cy Young Awards in consecutive seasons. His 2.43 ERA was outstanding, but he also took home the league lead for strikeouts among pitchers for the first time in his career, striking out 255 batters in 204 innings pitched. And again, for the second straight year, he got 29 out of 30 first place votes for the Cy Young Award. With that two-year stretch, DeGrom had officially established himself as the premier starting pitcher in baseball. In the pandemic shortened 2020 season, DeGrom finished third in Cy Young Award voting with a 2.38 ERA and once again league leading strikeout record with 104 batters struck out that year. Even with the expanded postseason though, the Mets couldn't find a way into the playoff bracket. 
The next two years started an unfortunate trend for DeGrom that has altered the course of this conversation entirely. DeGrom's biggest problem used to be that the Mets couldn't help him make the playoffs, but then the injuries began to pile up. The start of the 2021 season for DeGrom was absolutely sensational. He set a record for the most strikeouts in the first four starts of a season when he fanned 50 batters in that span. Through his first 15 starts of that year, he had an ERA of 1.08 and was striking out an unfathomable 14.3 batters per nine innings pitch. His ERA plus, which is a rate stat that uses park adjusted and opponent adjusted metrics to determine how good a pitcher's ERA is to the rest of the league at the time, was 373, which would have shattered Pedro Martinez's single season record of 296 over the course of a full year. Unfortunately for DeGrom, he began to experience forearm tightness in early July. Over the course of the next couple of weeks, that evolved into elbow soreness, which needed an MRI examination. While no structural damage was found, he was still unable to heal from his injuries, and that meant he wouldn't pitch again in the 2021 season. With 2022 being a season of raised expectations for the Mets, a healthy DeGrom would be a key to them reaching their full potential. DeGrom, however, would suffer another injury that would cause him to miss the start of the season. He suffered a stress reaction, which is typically a precursor to a stress fracture in his right shoulder. That would keep him out until July, when he would begin pitching a minor league assignment. After pitching four minor league starts, he finally made his way back to the major leagues in August, where he continued pitching at a high level. His ERA was not quite as dominant, but still very good at 2.93, and his strikeout rate is above 40%, an elite number among starting pitchers. Even better news, the Mets are finally winning. They are guaranteed to make the postseason and are currently battling it out with the Phillies to see who will win the National League East. With all of that being said, what stands out about DeGrom that puts him in the conversation is how singularly dominant he is at his best. From 2018 to 2021, he had a 2.1 ERA, which is a surreal number for a pitcher to put up even for just one full season, nonetheless over 76 starts. Per 162 games in that time, he would have averaged 281 strikeouts in a season, which has only happened 45 times since 1960. He's even found a way to get better since winning his back-to-back -back Cy Young awards, improving his strikeout rate and velocity across the board while limiting walks to a career low. Very few other pitchers have had the kind of top-level performances as DeGrom, but one thing most other pitchers in this generation have that DeGrom is missing from the trophy case is the biggest prize in the sport, a World Series ring. Since DeGrom made his debut in 2014, there are five pitchers who have finished in the top three in Cy Young voting at least three times. Corey Kluber, Justin Verlander, Max Scherzer, Clayton Kershaw, and Jacob DeGrom. All of them have multiple Cy Young awards multiple all-star appearances, incredible accomplishments by that group. Verlander, Scherzer, and Kershaw all have World Series rings, while Kluber and DeGrom do not. Kluber is now age 36 and has been bouncing around from team to team over the past few seasons, mostly out of the spotlight. DeGrom, on the other hand, is still pitching at a world-class level. If DeGrom can stay healthy and help the Mets win a World Series, does that make him the greatest pitcher of this generation? Let us know in the comments below who you think the greatest pitcher of this generation is in Major League Baseball. Is it DeGrom? Scherzer? Kershaw? Someone else? We'd love to hear from you. Also, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this in the future. Thanks for watching.